One feature of a Kiba Solo is to allow you to automatically store the backup on a remote location. Dropbox is a very popular option as it provides you with 2 gigabytes of cloud storage space free of charge and it is very simple with a Kiba Solo to configure your backups to be stored into your Dropbox folder. To begin, select configuration and scroll down to the processing engine. Here you can see many options including upload to Dropbox. Once that's selected, choose configure. In order for our website to talk to Dropbox, we need to do a two-step authentication. Once the first step is complete, close the pop-up window and go to the second step. As you can see, a token and a secret key have been automatically completed. The directory that we want to store it in is by default the root of our Dropbox account, but we can store it anywhere we want, including a subdirectory. Once you have configured Dropbox, save and close your configuration, and you are now ready to perform your first backup with the files being saved in Dropbox. Once the backup has completed, we can go to our Manage Backups, and here we can see the backup that just took place is a remote backup. The file is stored remotely. From this link, we are able to bring the backup back from Dropbox directly onto our web server. Now, every time a backup is performed by a Kiba Solo, the backup file itself is being stored remotely in our Dropbox account.